Hey traders, today we're making a script to detect overbought and oversold conditions on the relative strength index and drawing those signals onto the chart when they happen. In this series, I answer questions from students as briefly as possible. I have much longer lessons on the channel, but these are intended to get straight to the point. Let's go. The source code to the script will be in the pinned comment below, but let's get started with a brand new blank template script here. Now, the first thing we want to do with this particular script is we want to draw over the top of price action. So we're going to set overlay equals true on our indicator. Next, we need to get our user input. So this will be the RSI length, the overbought and oversold thresholds. So I like to put an I underscore before my inputs just to differentiate them from my other variables. You can call this whatever you want. The first one will be RSI length, and that will be an int input, a whole number input. We'll set it to 14 by default and give it a title of RSI length. And then our other inputs will be the overbought and oversold. I like to make these float inputs because that allows us to put decimal places in the setting. It gives us a bit more fine control. Those are the only inputs we need right now. The next thing to do is get the RSI value itself. So RSI value equals, and then for this, we use the technical analysis library, ta.rsi will get us the RSI value based on the closing price and our RSI length input. So a 14 period RSI based on the close using the inbuilt trading view formula for RSI saves us a lot of trouble. Next, we need to check for our overbought and oversold conditions. So RSI overbought is going to be true when the RSI value is greater than I underscore RSI overbought and RSI oversold will be true when the RSI value is less than our oversold input. You could set these to greater than or equal to, but I'll leave mine as greater than and less than. Next, we need to draw our actual signals onto the chart. For that, we will use the plot shape function. This can take a Boolean true or false value. So we'll paste in our overbought condition. We'll give it a title of overbought, a shape of triangle down, since this is a cell signal traditionally. We'll set the location to location dot above bar. We'll set the color to red. And if you leave it like this, then the size will be automatically adjusted based on your, your zoom level on your chart, or you can specify a size if you want to. I'll set mine as small for now, just so it's easy to see. As you'll see in a moment, small is actually quite big on my chart, but now I can copy this line of code, paste it in, change overbought to oversold, change triangle down to triangle up, the location to below bar, the color to green, and now this is optional, but I like to format everything so that it lines up and each parameter is easy to read and adjust. And that's it, we are done. Now if I save my code, minimize the editor, here are our signals. So whenever the RSI goes overbought, we get a red triangle. Whenever it goes oversold, we get a green triangle. Now this isn't a trading lesson, but as you can see, these can be quite good buying and selling opportunities, but I'd be careful just buying or selling simply because something is overbought or oversold, because as you can see, markets can stay overbought and oversold for long periods of time. So it's always best to combine these indicator conditions with other technical factors, price action patterns, that sort of thing to increase the accuracy of this reversal signal. It can also make an interesting trend continuation signal where you buy in the direction or sell in the direction of the RSI overbought or oversold. But for that, I would recommend making the um, inputs a bit looser. Our overbought and oversold levels are a little bit looser and our RSI period is a bit shorter. So we're getting more of a read on momentum rather than a reversal condition per se. And if you wanted to add alerts to this script, all we would need to do is come down to the bottom here somewhere say fire alerts, if RSI overbought, alert market overbought with a frequency of whatever you prefer. I'll select once per bar close and copy that and oversold, done. Now, if we come up and hit this, we can select our script and we can select any alert function call, click create, and then whenever the market goes overbought or oversold, we will be notified. And finally, if you wanted to add some sort of candlestick pattern detection to this, we could add on the end here, uh, RSI overbought and close under previous bars low or close above previous bars high for a bullish reversal. Now, if I save my code, we will only get signals and alerts when we get a lower close 
after the RSI goes overbought or oversold, which gives us much better signals as you can see here. Combining these sorts of indicator conditions with candlestick patterns is a great way to create potentially profitable trading systems. For veterans of the channel, this might seem like a simple lesson. That's because it's intended to be. In this series, I answer questions from students as briefly as possible. But if you want to see those longer lessons where I go into much more detail about the practical implementations of some of these techniques into actual systems, trading strategies, and trading tools, check out this playlist in the middle of your screen right now. Or check out our website, pinescriptmastery.com, where there is a six hour long free Pinescript basics course that will teach you all of the fundamentals, or a 50 plus hour long premium course where I go into much more detail about applying these techniques to make profitable and valuable trading tools. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Take care. Good luck with your trading and have a great day. Goodbye.